welcome, welcome, welcome. We are back. Uh, we got a good one today. Uh, Tiger Johnson and uh, Tariq. I'm gonna butcher this name. I I still can't get it right because they say it differently. Zania, Zania. We're gonna go with that. Uh, they say it different on the different broadcasts, so I'm not exactly sure what Tariq's last name is. But this is a decent fight. This is a, a nice little scrap. I think. <clears throat> the odds are a little bit too wide. Uh, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. And follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, the boxing bookie comes at you for every single major fight, so you have to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookie, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing, uh, but I do. Also, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the banner below. Just five dollars a month gets to the lock of the week. Of course, we hit our, uh, we hit our lock again last week. We hit our lock every week. Uh, Go to Patreon, get your lock of the week, you make a ton of money, get your exclusive perks, uh, as to book anything. I'll, I'll also give you props and other bets that I don't have time to, to add in the video, or the props haven't dropped yet when I release the video. Uh, so there's a lot, there's a lot of perks. You can make a lot of money on the lock. Uh, we, we've had people, you know, make hundreds of thousands of dollars, and that's not an exaggeration, um, off my locks. Uh, all right, also join the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, y'all. It all right. Let's get into the fight. Tiger Johnson, Olympian, world, all world amateur, a fighter that on not on paper. That's that's the wrong word. What am I trying to say here? In theory, is a really good fighter. Um, he's had a couple of struggles. He bounced back well. He had a really, really tough fight with a guy named Jimma Espinosa back late 2023. He came back early 2024, just two months later. He scored a first-round knockout over a journeyman named uh, Abalo Cesar Galdino. Uh, and then he, he took a uh, – now, this fight, he's got uh, Tariq Zena, which is an, an interesting fight. But he's had a couple, a couple of fights. He had a majority decision with Ricardo Quiroz, which I don't really think was a, a particularly close fight. Other than that, he's been pretty dominant. But besides that first round knockout over the journeyman, he's had one, two, three, four straight decisions. Two of them, I, I don't think he looked great in, and one of them was a very, very competitive fight uh, when it shouldn't have been that close. I, I think Tiger Johnson has a ton of skills, straight, up and down, wants to be on his back foot, Quick, snappy jab, but he can come forward. He has he has good skills, excellent fundamentals, really fundamentally sound fighter, good combination puncher, good foot speed, good hand speed. Not a ton of power, but I, I don't think he's feather fisted or anything like that. He's not necessarily a knockout puncher, uh, but he he's got some pop in his hands because he throws clean, straight punches that he sits down on. He does stand in too much. Uh, he trades too much. It's not what I, I, I want to see from him, but he's willing to do it. That actually may be his path to victory in this fight. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Excellent reflexes. He just has to put it all together. I mean, he's got all of the natural skills, natural talent. He's got, you know, like I said, skills and fundamentals and sharpness. It just, for some reason, he seems to be struggling to put it all together. But the talent, everything you want is there. He throws through targets, his punches, and and instead of throwing through them, you can you can tell he's not really punching through. I, I think he, his power can increase. I think he can grow his power if he really starts throwing through his targets, not to him. Good job. Uh, he's, he, 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 he's a preferred back foot fighter, but he can also fight well with the front foot. He's super quick. Like I said, the reflexes. Good counter puncher. He puts his counter shots together in combinations, which is which is really impressive. He throws beautiful punches, crisp, clean shots, twos and, and threes, high rank IQ guy. Really high. I, I'm not sure why he gets hit too much. I don't think he he, he has much of a game plan when he's in in the ring. 
I'm not sure why he's struggling like this, but he is, right? Like, you, he, he's a master boxer. He can come, he can fight at all three levels to a degree. Like, there's so much here, and, he, and he's struggling with this level of opposition, and I, I'm really not sure why he is. I do think he'll win this fight, though. <laughs> Tariq Zayna likes to be at range, uses his height and reach really well. He doubles up his jab. Pretty good fighter from the outside. He's up the back foot as well. And that's why I think Tiger might want to come forward. Zayna is long. He's rangy. His strength is fighting at long range. Tiger is good at that too and, and, and may be able to outpoint him. But I think if he really gets in and presses the action, he may be able, able to get a stoppage. If he's fighting at distance, he can still win the fight. He probably will still win the fight. But I think he's making it much more interesting and much more difficult than he has to. I, I honestly believe that. Sometimes, honestly, it takes more energy. It takes more legs to box all night than it does to, to bang away. Like, it really does. Like, I know that might sound counterintuitive to people who have been in the ring. But, like, you know, there, there are times where I don't have the legs to box all day. No, I don't have the legs to do that today. So maybe it was bad. Wake up, whatever. I'm going to stand in and fight. T Tariq is going to uh, pretty avoid shots pretty well. But he gets, still gets hit a lot. It, it, it's strange. Like he's, he's defensively nice from the outside. Good movement. A little bit of slickness to him. But when he's in front of you, when he's throwing, he gets nailed. He's a little bit too easy to hit in front of you. If he's moving, he's good. So it's one of those things. If you can get him to fight you, you're going to have him. If you can let him do his thing, he can really put rounds in the bank. Again, he's got good fundamentals from the outside. He's a good boxer mover. Fairly accurate with the straight right hand from long range. He's got a pretty sniper's right hand from, from long range. He may have gas tank issues, which is a concern to me. Like I said, he gets hit a lot late in fights. He starts, Once he slows down, he's easy to hit. Once he's in front of you, once he's stationary, he's easy to hit. He gets slow, he gets stationary, he gets easy to hit, he gets broken down over time. And this is why I think Tiger Johnson's best bet would might be maybe to bang a little more than we've seen Delonte Johnson bang in the past. Um, but you can obviously see which way I'm leaning in this fight. And, and the odds, I think, are a little wide. I think uh, Ty Tyreek's a better fighter than they're giving him credit for. I really do. Um, let me take a look at this shit. Okay. Delonte Johnson. We can put a one-times bet on this. A one-times bet on this is going to make us 1250 on a $100 bet. Again, uh, this is not a fight that I would go anywhere near the... I, I may take the over on this fight, honestly. Well, when the props come out on this, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. I, I really like this as a fight to go the distance. You know, I, I think Tiger Johnson, the way I see the fight going is is Johnson is fighting an evenish fight with him through the first half of the fight, and then they say, just step on the gas. Like, this guy, you can blow this guy away, and he blows it away, and he doesn't stop him, but it, it goes the full eight. I probably like this thing to go the distance, honestly. Uh, so you might want to put a little money on Tiger Johnson to go the distance. Once it has the over-under, join the Patreon. We'll take a look at that. We'll see if it's worth it. Maybe we'll take Tiger Johnson on points. Maybe we'll take the over. It, it just depends on what – what the odds are when, when DraftKings drops them. I, I ex well, also expect this Tiger Johnson and this Xander Zayas to move a little bit over the course of the week. But, again, join me. Let's take a look at that together. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Just $5 a month. Uh, but that's the bet here. We'll add to this bet in the Patreon. $5 a month. Join join the Patreon. $5 a month. But here's the bet. One time, one and a half times, Tiger Johnson. $150 bet makes you $162.50. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. It is, what is it, June 3rd, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless.
Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.